Hello. I'm making a video on Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Um, <clears throat> I will say, before going to go see it, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but I will say I actually did enjoy it. I actually enjoyed the movie. I think it was pretty good. Um, now I can understand why like a lot of people are upset with it. After seeing the movie, I will say like, I think the movie was like left open to people's points of view or interpretations like the chosen one, for example, like how we all know that Anakin's the chosen one. Personally, I think like this movie does not contradict that in my opinion, I don't think it does because, um, the part where like Palpatine, now this is for people who've seen the movie. This is a spoiler. Like how Palpatine says, I am all the Sith. But then Ray says, and I am all the Jedi. I'd say that Ray was able to win against Palpatine because she had all the, the Jedi who've passed on on her side, including Anakin. I think that is what gave Rey the opportunity over Palpatine. In a way, if Rey didn't have that, I don't think she would have won. And seeing that Palpatine did not have that support in my interpretation, that's what makes sense as to how Palpatine lost to Rey. But at the same time, like, Anakin's children helped Rey fulfill, like, saving the galaxy and stuff. Anyways, um, that's how I look at it. Um... I think also another way to look at it is that, like, it's not so much the bloodline, but it's, like, people who carry on the legacy of the Chosen One after he has died. Like, not just including Force sensitives, but also non-Force sensitives. Anyone who wants to keep the galaxy safe and keep the Force in balance and stuff. I think, like, like, you can look at it from that point of view as well. Like, Luke said, like, something about, like, it's not about the blood, it's not about genetics. Like, when he said blood, like, it's not got to do with blood, like, it's not got to do with genetics. It's, like, or ancestry. It's, like, I'm not sure how Luke put it, but if you guys seen the movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, what what Luke said to Ray on Ock 2 as a force ghost. Anyways, um, I think Ray became like an heir to the legacy of the chosen one. And she did not need to be the granddaughter of the chosen one to be so. As Luke said, like it doesn't have to do with blood. It doesn't have to do with ancestry and stuff and so I think like from these things that I've mentioned like I don't see her I do not see her as the chosen one I still see Anakin as the chosen one even after enjoying this movie so like because Anakin and the other Jedi who've passed on supported Rey against Palpatine but the Sith also supported Palpatine against Rey, but Rey won, I think the reason why that is, is because she had Anakin's force ghost on her side, that's how I see it, so I think in that context, that supports Anakin as the chosen one, and Rey and anybody else that are good guys in the story carried on the legacy that's the, that's the way I see it. I think the movie was basically left open for interpretation. But anyways, 
Um, I just thought I mentioned this and uh, kind of like shed some light on on it that you don't have to think that the movie is contradicting Anakin as a chosen one. You don't have to think that because I think you can still see this movie and understand that it's not contradicting that, that it's not contradicting him as a chosen one. I think you can do that. But again, it's all got to do with how you're willing to interpret the movie. Anyways, I thought I'd make this video to shed some light as much as I could possibly. Thank you for watching. If you liked this movie, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day, everybody.